Columnist Tilson and in this video I'd like to show you how to use Quick Design's Fittings Links submethods. Fittings Links submethods allow you to apply automatically hardware to your projects. To access Quick Design libraries, go to the Libraries Submethods Fittings Links. There are two sorts of submethods in this library. The standard submethods that apply standard hardware with fixed rules. These have a name that starts with either the type of cabinet that they apply to, for instance here we have base cabinet and here we have wall cabinet, or a type of hardware that is being used for assembling your cabinet. Like here we have a mini fix for P19, which means for 19mm panels. The other type of hardware in the library are quick design submethods. These start with a reference number 0, 010, 0, 020, etc. Let's see how to use these methods on a real cabinet project. Here is a cabinet made using quick design default materials and methods. By default, there are no fittings links. Let's apply a standard fittings links method from our library. I go to libraries, submethods, fitting links. And in the list of sub-methods, let's take a standard method that uses a minifix for 19mm planels, Blum hinges, 8mm dowels. When I apply the method, Polyboard adds the hardware to our project. You can see here the minifix with the dowels. Polyboard has also added the shelf pegs when there is a mobile shelf. To change hardware or the hardware positions, I will have to edit each individual item of the sub-method. This means that I would have to take this item here and change the hardware, this item here and change the hardware and the rule. Now let's apply a quick design fittings links submethod. Let's apply the 040 minifix DAO. This places the hardware just like the standard method. However, to change hardware and its position, it's now possible to simply change the hardware definition and its rule. For example, we can see that the sub-method has placed three shelf peg holes each time there is a mobile shelf. Let's say that I would prefer to have four holes. To do this, I'll go to Libraries, Fittings, and select the hardware fitting for Quick Design Shelf Pegs, 0-Shelf Peg 010. If I look at this fitting, I can see that there are three holes. Let's add an extra hole. I'll just select the last hole here, press on duplicate button to create a, another hole in the same position, change the Y position of this hole by adding 32 millimeters to this position, and we can now see that we have four holes. The name of the fitting is always 0-shelf peg slash 010. When I click OK, all the mobile shelves now have four shelf peg holes associated to them. This is true throughout my cabinet, but would also be true if I was actually editing a project made of several cabinets. Using Quick Design Fittings links, I can also change the position and the distribution of hardware by changing a specific hardware rule. Imagine that I would like the front pegs of this project to be set back 60 millimeters from the front. And because this project will have extra heavy loads on shelves, I'd like to add an additional line of pegs in the middle of the cabinet. To do this, I will go to Libraries Rules, and I will choose the rule that is a zero rule shelf pegs slash 010. The first offset, which is the offset from the front, I will change from 37 to 60. And the distance between the pegs Let's put it at 300. When I click OK, the project is updated and the front line of pegs here is now set back 60 millimeters from the front and the rule has added an extra line of pegs in the middle of my cabinet. 